country as opposed to going back home. I mean, these are these are very day to day and mundane kind of things, um, and it's it's a, it's maybe a little bit harder for people to relate to that type of thing today. So, but it, it is different being a soldier. I think it's different. We you know we have soldiers that we hold in our in high regard, and I'm not sure that that's uh, in, in in the West, and I'm not sure that that's always the easiest one to identify with with many people today. But still, if we go back to those days when Leifeng was used as an exemplary role model to uh, encourage young people to learn from him, then you'll see that our country was plagued by years of disasters uh, and adversity of the economy. To see nothing of the uh, isolation imposed by our uh, geopolitical rivals like the U.S. in Northeast Asia. Now, so people like Leifeng were used to uh, uh, promote a sense of patriotism. Uh, today, do you think uh, we uh, still find the example useful. Oh yeah, no, no. I, I think I think it's absolutely useful. I think it's a great idea that people bring it out. I think it's spe specifically now with this separation between what seems, and it's not just in China, but in, in other part in other parts of the world, where there is this glorification of to get rich is great and to 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 get as many handbags that are Louis Vuitton and and Burberry. That's all very positive seemingly. And then you to to contrast that with people who are doing good for good's sake. And it's a tremendous. It's almost a secular sainthood, which is what Lei Feng has been elevated to. And, and, and that's a good thing. And there's a positive thing. And, it, and the reward is within yourself and within your society. When we have a place in China now where you don't know your neighbors, when we have a situation where you don't want to go out and help people, and legally speaking, it may be difficult to help people uh, because you may be blamed for that, th this, is a, this is a good thing to, to promote, definitely. I don't think it's just, uh, it's just words. I think it's a great concept. And the moral compass idea of Lei Feng, this idea of having a moral compass, is what should be a core value with Chinese people in general. Mm -hmm. We don't have a Peace Corps uh, right. these days, uh, but uh, in, the 1950s, in the 1980s, we also had a campaign like uh, uh, learning from uh, Zhang Xiao, uh, a road example mm -hmm. uh, used by the Youth Daily mm -hmm. to uh, encourage the young university students to learn how to cultivate a healthy outlook about life, because with the end of the Cultural Revolution, it seemed that we immediately lost uh, the old set of values. and that. Uh, left the whole nation disoriented about the future, what the future holds morally. Mm -hmm. uh, today, uh, even in those days, uh, for example, one for all and all for one, 人人为我,我为人人, uh, mm -hmm. it became a very popular slogan mm -hmm. to inspire the young people. What do you think of this uh, controversial motto? Well, I think it's very problematic. I think it should, we should uh, rethink about whether we can, in a sense, revitalize and revitalize the, that very cultural model in terms of putting that very model in a special context in a material society.